Good morning, Sylvia Browder here. And I've been asked multiple times, what do I do as a desk adjuster? So today I'm going to go through what a day in a life is like as a desk adjuster. So I do start my morning off at 7 a.m. And I get to this office, as you can see right here, turn on my computer and I get my day started. So check it out. WCCS is Weather and Catastrophe Claim Services. I handle homeowner claims from natural disasters and or weather related events. So the first thing I do in the morning is I clock in and then log into the systems. The systems include our main system that house all claims, email system, team management system, and phone system. We have two phone logins. I check our voicemail and I clear it. I then check for phone messages. If I have any phone messages, tasks, I take care of them right away because they are very time sensitive. I pull up the claim associated with the phone task and then I review the file. The request could include either a callback, so I prepare to call either the insured, the agent's office, public adjuster, or even a contractor. I clear all these tasks and move on. Just an FYI, if I don't clear these tasks or check phone messages, then it goes on a delinquent report and you want to try to avoid getting on these different uh, reports. I then check to see if I've received any new claims. This can be either a brand new claim assignment or a reassignment. If it's a new claim, I'll go ahead and I'll prep for a quality first call or the acronym is QFC. That's a very important acronym in claims. So I use a QFC template to fill out all the information about the insurance policy. And that template also includes important information that I need to go over. It's like a checklist of things that I need to remember to discuss with the insured and very good, important keyword, key information to cover. And it's important to explain coverages, deductible, insurance responsibility, as well as ask them to tell you what happened and were they there when it happened. We want to get all the information. And with that information, I will update their FNOL or First Notice of Loss. Very important acronym. And that is the, the report that the insurer detailing the damage, loss and theft. So with that information, I will then update their FNOL or First Notice of Loss. That is another one of those acronyms that you need to be familiar with. It's very important. The FNOL is the initial report made to an insurer detailing the damage, loss, and theft of an asset. It marks the first step towards successfully making an insurance claim. So then it's time to call the insured. I then, once I get the insured on the line, I go through the QFC call flow. Then I schedule a field adjuster to go out and do the inspection. The field adjuster play a critical role in 
assisting me as a claim owner. He or she is frontline and really feed me the information that I need to manage the lifetime of that claim. So normally, I set my calendar 10 days out after my initial call with the insured. This allows the field adjuster time to go out um, after scheduling the inspection, write the estimate, and then make the actual cash value payment or ACV. And then again, ACV is one of those acronyms that you really need to be familiar with. So what is an ACV? It is the amount equal to the replacement cost minus depreciation of a damaged or stolen property at the time of the loss. So then I follow up with the insured and explain recoverable depreciation, reconciliation process, which calculates the differences between the carrier and the contractor. Look, there is so much involved during my day, so I'm going to um, stop right here and then I will pick up with part two. Sylvia Browdy here. So let's get into part two with a day in the life of a work from home claims adjuster on a WCCS deployment. So it's around 9 a.m. and the next important task is a directive from our team manager, AKA associate vendor manager or AVM. This is a spreadsheet with a list of claims that need some type of attention. So the AVM asked the team to complete the list by noon. Now I'm gonna tell you this, it may or may not happen. There's so much going on through the day. We might get phone calls, from the insureds, contractors, PAs, agent's office, mortgage lender, FEMA, other claim handlers, customer service. These calls require opening up a claim and discussing whatever it is that uh, the caller is concerned with. So I will create a file note of our discussion and then schedule it on my calendar to work at a later date. So those kind of things kind of throw your time off, but it's all of it is important. So the rest of the day, we're working on new mail, QFCs, reconciliations, supplements, RCBs, which is releasing uh, recoverable depreciation, file reviews, making other types of payments, writing denial letters, and then um, writing ROR's. My day is making coverage decisions, and that's what you do as a claim owner. We may get a director from the client to log into the customer service phone system for an hour here or there to help customer service or ECTA, um, if ECTA is still on deployment. We have a weekly team meeting that we have to attend. And then once a week, we also have a vendor, all vendor meeting. So as a claim owner, my day is very busy with managing claims. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear your comments.